Hi friends, yeah, this is Deepak, and today we will see something like okay. Before that, uh, let me uh, ask you one question. Because uh, there are two organizations which uh, most concentrate on a product selling concept. Product is refrigerators. So there are the two competitors in the same place which are in the same platform. That means product selling. So what at one particular team, what particular time the organizers, that means the CEO of the companies, decided to match their contacts by sharing their records one to one. So consider, I have a some contacts which is about two hundred, and the other organization having more than two hundred. So what they decided, the organization need to share the contacts internally. That means the customer data need to be need to share it between the organization. So as sharing can be done, so you may get an idea like we can take a backup, we can export the fields from an one organization, and by using data loader activity, we can upload those contacts to our. New organization, other organization, we consider that is done in a single time. So here my case is, if I created a contact in my organization A, it should be displayed in the organization contact B. You understand? It should be in real time. I, there is no data activity performing. So what we are doing? Whenever we have a contact, whenever we have a relation, that means lead or anything, whenever we create a record, a customer relation. So it should be displayed in the other organization. That means what we are doing, we are doing an internal relationship between the organization, one organization of Salesforce to another organization of Salesforce. Let we see how we can do. Generally, we have a standard function like uh, first I am going to set up um, here. I have an option like Salesforce to Salesforce. Here we can see that. Salesforce to Salesforce settings. First, I need to enable. First, I need to go Salesforce to Salesforce, and I need to enable Salesforce to Salesforce settings. I am enabling. If you see, enabling Salesforce to Salesforce is not reversible, but you can control the information you share and the connections you share. It means when once you enable the option, it cannot be reversible. But we can restrict the shared records. And we can stop in any part of time synchronization between the organization. Let we see how we do that. I uh, save. Oh. And and here we have a something like Salesforce to Salesforce setup, right? So let me take. Uh, I, we have uh, something tab like connections. Connections. I'm adding to my home tab connections. Once uh, connections tab, connection objects will uh, display only after enabling the Salesforce to Salesforce. Before enabling, you can't find connection object or connections tab. If we see connections, so here I have a new connection. What I have no mandatory first here contact is a mandatory field and this is a owner and template consider before sharing creating any connection I need to create the contact to the organization where exactly I need to share uh, let me create a contact for that organization new contact mm, contact name is wasabi and email ID is like Okay, so I'm saving my contact. Let me check once mail ID is correct in the case. Okay, correct. Exactly. So I created a contact now. So what I'm doing here, contact is created. So what I will do, I will create a new connection by selecting the lookup relationship. So if you see Wasabi is my contact and no account and email I am selecting if template is there there is no email template so don't worry I just connected mandatory fields at send and invite okay invitation sent 
okay let me uh, okay let me open my invitations because the email id should be the invitation sent through email there you receive in one link url uh, invitations from salesforce uh, yes this is a url which i can access this organization copying and opening a new cog private browsers I have a new private browser. This is my private browser. So what I'm doing, I'm pasting. Now I will get an error like insufficient privileges. Can so see? No, I don't use phone verification. See, insufficient. You do not have level of accuracy perform operations by request. It means, okay, the source are consider the organization where we invited is a source organization, and the organization where we are access is a destination. So target organization. In in both organization, the option like Salesforce to Salesforce settings should be enabled. You understand? So in both organization, Salesforce to Salesforce. Salesforce to Salesforce settings should be enabled. See, before enabling, I will show you the objects like connection. In before, you have a connection object. Here, you will get connection object. We don't have any connection object. Once I enable here, see, if I once I enable. Now I will do refresh in all tabs. I enable. Now I will refresh my tabs. Now you will get connection. You got it right. So the connections object is can be enabled after Salesforce to Salesforce settings enabled. You remember that. So now see what happened. Now I have a connections and everything is done. What I will do? I will paste the URL where I got invitation. So, see. Here we have an option like accept, decline, accept. I am doing accept. See. There is no publish and subscribe problem. What is mean by consider? I want to share the records which I is there in my account object consider. I am opening. So what I will do? I am doing publish here. So I am publishing like I am publishing my account object. The records in account is can be will share to account. Share. Now what I will do? I will refresh my private browser. Mm. Now you will get. You see, there is no subscribe, right? Now I will click subscription in the destination, the target organization. Now I have like account. It is a mapping fields mapping. Now I need auto mapping to ensure that the fields exist in this organization, the source organization and the destination of target organization is same. Or uh, if not, auto accept will. Uh, Take that responsibilities. So now, which object I activated? Account side. Now, what I'm doing? I am opening my account objects. Okay. Before that, I will show you account. Deepak one, Deepak four. These are my account right now. What I will do? All accounts go. Nothing is shared, right? So what I will do here in account? Sorry, confusion. Yes, in private browser account, all accounts go.
you will not get anything right now what I will do here Now I will select Deepak 3, Deepak 4, Deepak 5, Deepak 7, the Deepaks. I am selecting all the Deepaks which I have in a source organization and then forward to connection. Organization, Virla Soft. Send invite email. I shared all my contacts now you see that here I have in new organization the contacts what I have it is replaced right See here, they pick three, they pick four, and they pick four. Account owner, you got my point, right? Now my question is, I want to share my target organization to source organization. I means when I were in which organization you want to share records, then you need to publish. Click on publish, and select the object which object records you need to transfer. Now I am selecting contact, save. In my source organization, the A organization, I am selecting in connections, I will select, I will subscribe the published object like here I have like contact or to accept save. See here now, as for your sake, I am opening my contacts object. I have Vasavi and no other Vasavis. Now I will create one contact. I will create one contact in my organization 2. New, no contacts here. What I will create here, I am creating by choice like um, R B2 R. Yeah. Okay. And email S O T C dot in save. I save all my contact. So what I will do? Contacts. Whenever I have a contact, go. Contacts or K2 or B, right? And forward to connection, which my organization. Okay, this is which is updated in organization B. See in contacts home. In before, I don't have any contact now. I'll select all contacts now I have a contact like uh, organization here to right oh, yeah see here now I have a contact the contact is externally straightforward received from Billa of your company Salesforce to Salesforce connection. You got it right? This is the organization which I got from this office. See, this is the invitation request connection. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this one. And if any questions, please leave a comment on the channel. And let me confirm one thing and there are few queries which I updated in the my one drive notes that means the blog spot which I am maintaining so you can just go through there for detailed description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.